It's the hottest trend in skincare. Called skin cycling. Skin cycling. Skin cycling. So how do you do it? I have everything you need to know about skin cycling in the next three minutes. Skin cycling is a term coined by my good friend, dermatologist Dr. Whitney Bowe. It's become a super hot topic on social media with hundreds of thousands of people benefiting from it. So exactly what is skin cycling and how do you do it? Skin cycling is a skincare plan where your skin undergoes a four day cycle. Day one is exfoliation day, day two is retinoid day, and days three and four are recovery days. Skin cycling is based off the principle that you should give your skin time to recover from using active ingredients. This is based off established dermatology principles that I have shared on many of my previous videos. Most people benefit from allowing their skin to take a break from using aggressive treatments like retinoids and exfoliation. So let's get into more depth. Here is what you specifically do during skin cycling. On day one, you wanna start the morning by cleansing your skin, using a toner if you want, then apply an antioxidant serum followed by a sunscreen with ideally an SPF of at least 30. This is the same morning routine that you do every morning during skin cycling. You don't necessarily change that. On the evening of day one, you want to cleanse your skin, use a toner if you'd like, then you want to exfoliate your skin either with a mechanical scrub or with a chemical exfoliator, and then you want to apply a moisturizer. On day two, you do the same thing as you did day one in the morning. You want to cleanse, tone, apply an antioxidant serum, and then a sunscreen. In the evening, you want to cleanse and tone once again, then you want to apply a retinoid followed by a moisturizer. On days three and four, you start by cleansing your skin in the morning, you tone if you want, apply an antioxidant serum followed by a sunscreen. Days three and four are your recovery days, so in the evening, you want to cleanse and tone like usual, then just apply a moisturizer and that's it. You want to give your skin time to recover. Then you want to repeat this cycle as long as your skin is tolerating it well. So skin cycling is quite simple, but people have had great experiences and seen great changes in their skin. So let's get a little bit beyond just the simple skin cycling, and I'm gonna give you three advanced tips on how to maximize your results from skin cycling. The first tip is you wanna use the retinoid that is most appropriate for your skin. Retinoids come in non-prescription over-the-counter strength, which are retinols, and prescription strength, which is tretinoin or retin-A. If you have thin, dry, or sensitive skin, you definitely want to stick more with the retinol because it's not quite as aggressive. If you've got oily or thicker skin, then going with a prescription strength tretinoin may give you better benefits. If you're new to using retinoids, expect that your skin may undergo a period of purging. Whenever somebody starts a retinoid, it's very common for their skin to get a bit red, a bit inflamed looking, and even dry and flaky. If this happens to you, you can use a lower strength of retinoids, so going from, let's say, prescription strength tretinoin back to an over-the-counter retinol, or you can do what Dr. Bo calls a retinoid sandwich, where you can apply a little bit of moisturizer before you apply your retinoid, and then apply moisturizer on top of the retinoid afterwards. This can help buffer the retinoid and make its effects not quite as aggressive. If you've been skin cycling for several weeks and you're not seeing a whole lot of change in your skin, you can try removing one of the recovery days. There are some people who benefit from using retinoids more than twice a week. In those situations, you may find that you see results much more quickly. Now, one great thing about skin cycling is it's not based off of any specific brand or company's products. You can use the products that you like the best in skin cycling. I'll give you recommendations of products that I recommend in the caption below, including if you want to take the next step and use Yoon Beauty skincare products in your skin cycling routine. I'll also summarize what to do in each day in the caption below so you have it written out for you. If you love watching short, informative videos like this, check out my playlist right up here of my Dr. Yoon's holistic three-minute tips. We go over my two minutes, five years younger skincare routine, anti-aging supplements that can turn back the clock, and a whole lot more. Check it out right up here. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.